November 2023, the town of the Grindavik experienced uh, many earthquakes, a swarm of the earthquakes. This is due to the plate boundary at that area being stretched and the earthquakes caused by the engagement and freeing of the rocks uh, leading, to, leading to the cracks appearing or reactivating the town. It opened up the way for the magma to rise. The earthquakes were actually crushing the rocks, moving them apart, pulling them apart, creating gasps and chasms and the cracks in the ground. They were visible in the green week. We could see them. One worker fell into one of these. No casualty other than this, which was after the earthquakes, not during it. So in a way, we have been very lucky compared to many other countries who have earthquakes. We noticed that the a graben is actually there. The graben is a, again, activated is falling down the harbor exists in the green because it's actually part of that graben during this graben formation we may have a magma seeping out through the cracks like a vein through the fault lines coming to the surface and erupting and presto after this we had eruption in the sundunka craters uh, which is to the north near the sourcing geothermal power plant it didn't threaten on the first time it was december 2023 we had eruption. Then we had the in the Hagerfall north of the Grindavik again another eruption happened. These are the MBL camera you can see that and the Coast Guard camera also shows that they cut the slice through the defensive wall. A berm uh, was built there and one of these actually cracks was on the other side of that berm or wall and burned part of the town. Now people can return of course we have a quiet period between the eruptions at their own risk they can return there is no functioning school or playground for for the children hot water uh, is leaking actually to the town so practically it may have a low pressure cold water is uh, is there available but they have to be careful not to tamper with it there are many cracks in the ground they have to consider that also at their own risk everything is at their own risks uh, if they wish, they can go there. Companies also can do that. I have a suggested plan to actually, uh, for the future of the uh, this uh, volcanic system, to build defensive walls across the uh, the fissures to stop and solidify the lava at each stage. This is based on my knowledge of what we have done in Iran to stop the water. This is again a fluid. Water and lava are fluid at that stage. When they flow, you can stop them, solidify it, lava solidifies, and it stays there and forms a better defensive wall even. So this is a suggestion. The red part is the part we have to abandon and move the residential areas to the east and west of that central part. The main part of the harbor stays as it is, is inside the water, so it's safe for the companies to, you know, to harbor or anything that they want to do there. People can now return freely to the town for the uh, for the time being at their own risk this is the latest news that we have from that area